know how we heal, we want to understand coherence. Coherence is a term of physics, and we also need to fuse physics and medicine. So coherence is when waves enter in phase, enter in resonance, they have resonance, and they are capable of maintaining and continuing life. If we study coherence and we understand coherence and how the body heals, then we can affect it with vibration as well. That's why I have studied for many years color, light and sound. And it's the voice, the closest vibration to us that we have most available there to understand how we reach coherence. And I use the solar spectrum to understand how that coherence is reached in the voice, in vibration. So we have to understand many rhythms of the body and there's some that we can actually perceive with the hands, like the cranial rhythm. We actually, with a slight touch, we know when the cranium is full of cerebral spinal fluid and when the, the sensation is closing your hands is when the cerebral spinal fluid goes into the sacrum. It's the slowest rhythm of the body, and the rhythm is between 6 and 12 cycles per minute. Let's say it's 8 cycles per minute. And the breathing, we can feel the breathing easily. We are conscious of when we breathe. So it's between 16 and 18 cycles per minute. Let's say that it's 16, and it's a perfect multiple of 8 of the cranial rhythm. Then the cardiac, we know we can feel it here or here. and. It could be 64, which is another multiple. We have 8, 16, 32, 64 cycles per minute. So they're all in the same resonance. They're in harmony. We are helping each other. Of course, we have rhythms of the kidney, of potassium, of the liver, of the intestines, circadian rhythms we have to take into account. But with technology, we have research that we can enter into coherence between the heart and the brain. With EEG, we can see that at times we are connecting the heart rhythm and coherence and harmonics with the harmonics of the brain. So they're all in resonance, they're all helping each other. We have also been able to prove that the same frequency of the highest frequency of the heart is the same frequency of the uh, voice. So we know that the voice also can enter into coherence with expressing the coherence of the body. The reason why I have gotten into this, so I was inspired of this, was because the cranial rhythm, we have to connect the breathing with the cranial rhythm for, to relax. We bring the breathing down, to breathe much lower, half its speed, and we connect it to the cranial rhythm. And then when it's connected to the cranial rhythm, we enter into alpha brain waves easily. And actually the cranial rhythm completely stops. It's called a still point. And when it stops, we are lying down, we fall asleep. But if we are standing up, we are meditating, we enter into altered states of consciousness with more alpha brain waves, delta brain waves, and we are still awake. And that's a special state. And it's a very healing state because we are connecting already certain rhythms of the body. So that inspired me to follow that research. But what I'm a specialist of is the voice coherence, which I follow the spectrum of the sun, relating the uh, frequencies of the voice to the uh, sound, musical notes to the actual colors of the sun. So we find a spectrum, a curve, specific curve of perfect harmony that the, that the spectrum of the sun shows us. So the most important emotion for coherence is enthusiasm. When we speak from enthusiasm, we're living things fully. We want to live and that we can reach it and see it in the voice. You will also see how I use prisms to project sunlight into the eyes to help reach this coherence in the voice is how we are more or less coherent and we use the voice because we know the voice changes when we're sick and the voice expresses 
our vibrational field. And talking truly from the heart. Really, the most healing emotion is enthusiasm, living life fully. It's really being well emotionally. Because all emotions and loving really yourself depends upon your relationships with others. Because we cannot resolve this on our own, that's the reason we need to take care of what we eat and other means to maintain health. If we had emotional well-being, feel wonderful emotionally, and if we are really able to laugh of all our traumas of the past, just know for sure that you will be healthy. It all began with the verb. Verb is vibration. Vibration is movement, is life. Everything that exists vibrates, has life, it moves. From the most density of a rock as frozen movement to the fastest, like ultraviolet light. We need all of the sounds. We need all of the colors to be coherent, to have health to be in harmony with nature. The sun gives us life and shows us the coherence and the harmony. It's always surprising the beauty of nature, how all colors fit, how really everything is in harmony. All of life depends on the sun. So when the ultraviolet light that is invisible for us enters the liquid density vibration of the water, Life begun, photosynthesis started, and all biochemistry of life. The fire that burns inside the water makes... Here we see the solar spectrum with this spectroscope, where we see these black lines of absorption of some wavelengths that are like the ladder of life, that absorb wavelengths belonging to biochemistry compositions the same as the platonic solids decipher the positions of geometry of the jump of electrons from one orbit to another that create the geometry of life. They are the elements that ascend in the periodic table of elements, the biochemical composition of life. Light creates all the biochemical compositions of life. All of the universe manifests itself by spirals and by cones of light that encounter each other. They embed, they connect. Some waves introduce inside others. They fit together. The rainbow spectrum suddenly manifests itself from nowhere. We see it through a prism because the light is invisible. Sunlight is coherent, is the largest example of harmony and coherence in the universe. Sunlight is coherent, it's invisible. Until it touches an object, it absorbs one color and it reflects its complementary. Also, the shadow of one color, it's its complementary color. Because they are perfect waves, that one is the inverse of the other. Everything has a polarity and a perfect compensation in perfect harmony. Inside our homes, we need to have rainbows because they will harmonize us biochemically. This is an example of a building created by Peter Erskine. Here you see the example of two complementary colors. The red, the wave that falls down, and the blue, the one that rises up. You will see it in the other colors, but you will see that green and magenta are double wave forms because they come from two rays. 